What is up team? Welcome to day four of the Blitz program. We have a full body conditioning workout on the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP warm up and I'll take us through our first circuit. We're gonna start off with five push ups. Uh, sorry, we're gonna start off with five air squats, five push ups, and 15 jumping jacks. Three minutes on the clock, you're gonna cycle through that as many rounds as you can. So we're going five body weight squats. Get those legs up, warmed up. My legs are hurting from, uh, what was it, Wednesday this week? Then we're gonna do five push ups. And then we're gonna go 15 jumping jacks just to get that heart rate up and loosen up, team. We got a 10 second countdown and we'll get into it. You're gonna cycle through that as many rounds as you can for a three minute clock. In three, two, one, and work. Five air squats. Nice and low. Now we're going five push-ups. You can do these on your knees or on an inclined surface if you need to. Hop up, 15 jumping jacks. When you're through it, you're gonna go right back to the beginning. Nice and low in these squats. Driving the knees out over the toes. Taking your time. Push-ups, make sure that chest is tapping the ground. Coming to a full lockout. Way through team. Take your time, you're not trying to burn yourself out here. Just trying to get loose. One fifteen. Fifty seconds left. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, and let's get into our first circuit here, team. We got a 15 minute EMOM. And EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna have five minutes. Each of those minutes gets a dedicated exercise, excuse me, and a dedicated number of reps. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute after you finish those reps. In our first minute, we're doing 10 dumbbell thrusters. Taking two dumbbells, racking them up, resting on the shoulders, chest up. We're gonna do a full squat and press overhead. So brace your core, nice and low. Drive up, lock out overhead, reset on your shoulders. You go moderately heavy here for 10 reps, not a super high number of reps. But the goal of this workout isn't to go as heavy as possible. Those are our other workouts. Those are our other four workouts during the week. Today we're trying to keep it moving and be able to sustain that pace for the EMOM. So that's our first moment, minute. Second minute is bear push-ups. You're gonna start off in your bear position, knees underneath your hips, toes pointing in the ground. Your knees are gonna come off the ground about an inch or two. You're gonna jump back, push up. 
jump back in. 10 reps. You can also step out. You can drop to the knees to make it easier. So modify. You're basically jumping out and going straight down into a push-up. That's our second minute. Third minute is up-downs. It's basically a burpee minus the push-up and the jump. So you're gonna go here, jump back, set a tight plank, stand up. 10 reps. You can also step in and out of that movement. Now we got renegade rows. Five each side in the fourth minute. So we're gonna take some heavy dumbbells. You're gonna set up on them in a plank position, push-up position. You're gonna lock out the left arm, roll back towards the hips, switch side. 10 total, five each arm. If you guys have round dumbbells, you can put one hand on the floor, row, and then just switch hands after five. The final minute is a 45 second plank. We're gonna be on our elbows, tucking our tailbone towards our chin, and we're gonna hold this position for 45 seconds. Any questions, team? Those are our five movements. Once we finish the fifth minute, we cycle right back to the top and hit those thrusters again. I'm gonna go 35s on the thrusters. Um, I'm probably gonna go 35s all the way through. I'll go 35 thrusters, and I'm gonna go 35 on the renegade rows to start. If that's feeling good, I'll go up. If not, I'll stay the same or move down. Quality reps, always the most important thing. We're going in 10 seconds, team. 10 dumbbell thrusters coming up. In five. Three, let's work, come on. One, full squat, drive, lock out, reset. Ten reps. Woo. We got ten bear push-ups coming up in 23 seconds. We want those hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Jump back. Set a tight plank. Full push-up. Jump back in. In seven. Three, two, knees off the ground the whole time, jump back. Back in tight. Ten reps. 30 seconds, we got 10 up downs. That's hands go down, jump back, tight plank, jump back in, just stand back up straight. In 10 seconds, team. Five. Two. And work. Ten reps. Come on. We got renegade rows. Five each side coming up. I'm gonna stay with the 35. I like to go feet wide here. When you're doing a row on the right arm, really try to plant the left foot and drive it into the ground to kind of counteract across the body. Helps us stabilize. Three, no push-ups here. Just rows. Try to keep your chest square to the ground. Core tight. Row, slow. Try not to let the, let the dumbbell just collapse back down on the ground.
10 reps. Twenty seconds. We got a forty-five second plank happening. Think about tucking that tailbone towards your chin, getting those abs engaged the whole time. We're gonna get set up and go in eight, four, two, and let's work, team. Come on, four tight. Forty-five seconds. Hold. Come on. We got 20 seconds left. All the tension is in the abs. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, team, we are back to the top. I'm gonna bump my weight up to 40 on the thrusters. We got 10 thrusters coming up. In five, three, one. Let's work, team. It's only three rounds through. Let's get it. Oh, I'm gonna keep them out. I'm gonna do 40 on the Renegade rows too. Woo! We got 10 bear push ups coming up. Five seconds. Let's do it. One. And work. Knees up. Okay. Ten reps. We got up downs in 20 seconds. Walk it off, team. No sitting down. Try to get that heart rate down a little bit. Ten up downs coming up. In three, one, and work. Ten reps, come on. Woo. Get ready for your renegade rows. I'm gonna go 40 of this round. Uh, 40 pounds. Five each hand. Brace that core. Try to focus on pulling the dumbbell back towards your hip and try to keep your chest square to the ground. In three, one, and work. Ten reps. Five, 
We got a 45 second plank. In 23 seconds. Nice deep breaths, walk it off team. We got one more round after these planks. Today is not a long workout, so we're trying to push the, pen, uh, the intensity a little bit here. Set up, 45 second plank in three, two, one, and work. Tuck the tailbone towards your chin. Focus on your breathing and focus your intention on the abs. That helps take the pressure off the low back. Twenty seconds left. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Press team. Woo! Final round. We got thrusters in eight. I'm gonna stay with 40s. Take your time, exhale on every rep, deep inhale into the belly. Let's work. Plenty of time. We got 10 bear push-ups. Break it up if you need to, go to your knees if you need to. Three. Let's work. I'm going five, taking a little break. We got 40 seconds still. <laughs> up downs, coming up. 10. Two, that's work. Come on, hands go down, jump back. In, stand up. We got 10 renegade rows. In 12 seconds. Woo! We got a two minute break after these and the plank. We got one more circuit. 10 reps here guys, come on. Drive the back towards that hip. Control the descent to the ground as much as you can. Core tight. Tuck the tailbone.
10 reps. Woo. We got a 45 second plank in 10. Five, three, one, come on, set up. Work, 45. Thirty seconds. Focus on your breathing. Fifteen seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Press in. Woo! All right, we bet we got about a two minute and 15 second rest. You can track the weight you use in the note section of this circuit for both. All right. So we got the exact same format. We got a two minute rest and then we have another 15 minute EMOM. So we're going eight dumbbell cleaning presses in the first minute. Shoulders are probably pretty cooked at this point. So you'll probably have to go lighter than you think. We're gonna take two dumbbells at your side, a pretty narrow stance of the feet, shoulder blades back and together. You're gonna to dip, explode, and catch on the shoulders. So it's like a power movement. I'm not curling, I'm thinking about shrugging and pulling, and then the elbows are getting underneath me, and then I press overhead. Only eight reps there, team. That's our first minute. I'm probably gonna go 25s for the first set because I can tell you my triceps are cooked and shoulders. The second minute, we're doing a front rack reverse lunge. So, dumbbells are here, up in the front rack position. If you can't hold this position anymore, you can drop them down to your side. We're gonna try to go 10 reps on the right leg. Lunge back, let that knee kiss the ground. Then in the third minute, we're gonna do the left leg for 10. Same deal, I might try to stick with 25s there as well. It's harder up on the shoulders. That's our second and third minute. Our fourth minute is 15 dumbbell swings. You can use a single dumbbell between your legs. We wanna keep that dumbbell high on your legs. Hinge at the hips, only a slight bend the knee. Don't let the dumbbell get too low or else you lose the lower back tightness. You're gonna swing, explode into a plank. Don't push your hips too much forward. I'm gonna do it with two dumbbells on the side. I prefer this method. So if feet are narrower, you're gonna swing forward, keeping those dumbbells above the knees and then squeeze the glutes. Think about basically setting a plank at the top. That's 15 reps. Let me just pause this timer so I can finish talking. And the final minute is 10 double snatches. It's gonna be a tough interval. So, you're taking dumbbells again, feet wider. You're gonna come down between your legs, drive both up overhead, lock out, reset on your shoulder. So it's a little bit of a dumbbell swing slash clean. I let the, both dumbbells come back. I let my hips go back a little bit, and then I explode up in one motion, trying to keep the dumbbells close to the body. We don't want to swing them out like this. That's bad. We want to come up past the sides of the face. 10 reps. Again, we're going to be fatigued, so I don't want you to go super heavy here where you're going to compromise form. The point is to move the body and uh, keep that conditioning up. Cool team, the clean and press, I'm gonna try to go 25 on all the weighted movements, even the swings. And I'll just see if I can hang on to that. Any questions? We good? We got six seconds. We got eight dumbbell clean and presses coming up. Three, two, one, and work. Dip, catch, press. Eight reps. 
We got 10 front rack reverse lunges coming up. That felt a little bit light, but I have a strong feeling that after front rack lunges, swings, snatches, it's gonna work. I mean, it's gonna be fatigue, so I don't wanna go too heavy. I'll test it out in the second, see how I feel for the third. Again, this is week one, guys. We build on this week. Five seconds. Reverse lunges, front rack, right leg, 10 reps. You can also bring the dumbbells together at the front, that's more comfortable. reps rest the remainder of the minute Woo. we're going left leg for 10 in 10 seconds five three one and work Come on. <sighs> All right, team, we got 15 dumbbell swings coming up in 25. We keep those dumbbells above the knees, at least the hands. If we get too low, it's too much low back. It's basically opening and closing your hips a little bit. And we're thinking about pushing forward. Those arms are just along for the ride. Let them swing. We're going in three, two, one. And we're get a little swing just started. Hips back, squeeze, 15 reps. Shoulders back and together. Lock out the knees at the top. Fifteen. Press. At the top of that swing, those dumbbells should feel weightless for a second. That's what we're looking for. We got 10 double snatches coming up. I'm gonna try to stay 25s here. We're using our hips, legs, traps, pulling, and then the arms are taking over about right here and you're gonna lock out. Mostly legs and hips though. In three, one. Feet are a little wider, swing them through, lock out. Reset on the shoulders. Hold that overhead position for one second. Own it, reset. seconds we're back to the top shit I might go 30s I'm gonna try 30s on the cleaning presses we'll see in four two more rounds team come on we are done so we got champions train on Friday baby let's go dip catch press eight reps Come on. 
Woo. 20 seconds team. We got front rack reverse lunges. I'm gonna try to go 30s here too. Screw it. It's a short workout. I'm gonna try to push it a little bit. Five seconds, 10 on the right leg. One, and work. Rack them up, you can also rack them together. Let that back knee kiss. Five seconds. We're going ten in the left leg. Three, one, come on. Five seconds, team. We got 15 dumbbell swings. I'm gonna go 30s on this, too. Heart rate's at about 150. It's a little up there. Come on, 15 swings in three. We got plenty of time here. The swings happen quick, so if you need a couple seconds, you can take it. Come on, hang a little. seconds. We got double snatches and then we got one more round through this team. I'm gonna go 30s on the double snatches too. 10 reps. Three, one, and work. Come on. Good legs. Team. Let's go. I'm staying with 30s all the way through. This is it, the final five minutes. 10 seconds, we got eight clean impresses coming up to finish it. Three, one, let's work. Explode through those hips and legs. Catch, press. Woo. 
Eight reps. Huh. 20 seconds. We got 10 reverse lunges. Front rack, right leg. Coming up. In 10. Think about bracing your abs, fighting to keep that chest up. One. And work. Breathe. Ten reps. Woo! Switching legs. In twenty five. Ten seconds. Ten on the left. Three, two, one. Let's work. Up on those shoulders. Chest up. Come on. <clears throat> Woo. 25 seconds. We got 15 dumbbell swings coming up. Home stretch, you guys are champs for training on Friday. Anybody can show up on a Monday. Show up on a Friday, that's the real deal. Six seconds team. 15 swings, come on, use those hips and glutes. Swing, plank at the top, block out those knees, squeeze that ass. Fifteen reps. Woo. Twenty seconds. We got double snatches to finish it off. Ten reps. Use those legs. Five. And good reps. Take your time here if you need to. You got the whole minute. I'm gonna take 10 off the top. Let's go. Come on, 10. <clears throat> Woo. You guys got 15 seconds to finish. Hang in there. Nice deep breaths, walk it off. Cut it off in five. Three, one, and done team. Awesome work. Day four of the Blitz program is in the books, guys. Just a reminder, we are training tomorrow, Saturday, if you're joining live, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because we had that week shift. We started Tuesday through Saturday this week because I was out of town on Monday. So if you guys wanna join in live tomorrow for that, it's an arms and ab workout, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys for joining in. You are champions for training on Friday. I'll see you then, bye.